In this video, I'll show you how to write a nested loop. So let's say that we want to print out these values. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the first row, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 on the second row, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 on the third row. We need to use a nested loop. A nested loop is a loop inside a loop. And because we know how many times we want to loop for each loop, we should use a count controlled loop, and the best one for that is a for loop in Java. So we have two things here. We need to control the row, and then we need to control the column. So in each row, there are five columns. There are three rows. So the outer loop is going to control the row. And I'm going to call that loop control variable row row equals 1, row less than or equal to 5, and then row plus plus. That's going to loop 5 times where row equals 1 all the way up to row equals 5. Inside that loop, I need a loop that's going to control each column. So each time, oh, excuse me, I made a mistake. That's okay. Each time I loop through my row, I want to print out how many columns? One, two, three, four, five columns. So column less than or equal to five, call plus plus. And here's where I realized that I made a mistake. How many rows do I have? I only have three rows, one, two, three. I do not have five rows, so I have to change this and make it a three instead of a five. Inside my for call loop, I want to have a print statement, system did out dot print. And how am I going to get one, two, three, four, five to print on the first row, two, four, six, eight, ten to print on the second row, and three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen to print on the third row? Well, if I'm on row one and I'm in column one, row times column will equal one. If I'm in column two, row times column will equal two, and so on. So I want to print row times call. I'm going to follow that with a little bit of a space just to make this, this spacing more beautiful. And then when I'm done with that inner loop, I need to do a println. So I go down to the beginning of the next line. If I did a println inside my inner loop here instead of a print, it would print one long column rather than a beautiful table like this. So I just do a print one like that, and then like that. Um, this is a way to print a matrix or a table of values using Java. I hope you found this helpful.